verb or the action word is the chief word in a sentence. Out of eight parts of speech, verb is regarded as the most important one. For formation of different sentences, we have to refer to the most important grammatical topic named tense. Since tenses are based on this topic called verb, we are supposed to have proper awareness of all categories of verbs, their meaning as well as their use in a sentence. Hello friends, welcome to our channel We Learn Language. In today's session, we are going to clear all these points. Hence, you are advised to stay connected till the end of the video and if you have any query or doubts afterwards, you can use comment section. I am going to respond positively. Our today's area is this one, categories of verbs. As regards categories, I have already mentioned the first one, regular and irregular, helping and main, finite and non-finite, transitive and intransitive, and defective verbs. Regarding this one, regular and irregular, I have already mentioned in my previous video that regular verbs are those verbs which take ed to form their second and third form, past tense or past participle form. Example, act, acted, acted, walk, walked, walked, talk, talked, talked. Regarding this one, irregular one, they don't follow ed formation. They are of three types, type 1, all three forms are same, like cut, 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 put, 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 let, 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 etc. Type 2, two forms are same and one is different. Example, catch, caught, caught, teach, taught, taught, why, bought, bought, etc. Type 3, all three forms are different from each other. Example, write, wrote, written, speak, spoke, spoken, go, went, gone or do, get done, etc. Today we are going to deal with this area helping in main verbs. What are main verbs? The verbs which correspond to the main action in the sentence. Example, he is writing a letter, writing here main verb. He will go there, go is here main verb. In addition, we find that there are few verbs which are used as helping verbs. What are helping verbs? The helping verbs are those verbs which help out the main verbs to form sentences according to different tense rules, passive formation, interrogative or negative construction and to convey different meanings to like command, capacity, possibility, permission, obligation, need, etc. The helping verbs are divided into two categories, auxiliaries and models. Here the question arises, what is the difference in between these two areas? Auxiliaries and models. Let's check the definition. Auxiliary verbs are those verbs which are used to form sentences as per tense rules, passive voice, interrogative and negative constructions. Models or model verbs are those verbs which are used to convey different meanings in different sentences like permission, capacity, need, necessity or obligation etc. Auxiliary verbs are three be, have and do and models are 13. They are can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, must, ought to, used to, need and there. Today we are going to deal with this one. B, the auxiliary verb. Like any other auxiliary, it's used for different purposes. That is, for different tenses, passive formation, interrogative negative construction, to denote some arrangement or plan or obligation. Let's check them separately. He is a mod. He is writing letter, present continuous tense, affirmative construction. Negative, he is not writing letter. Interrogative, is he writing letter? Interrogative negative, isn't he writing letter? Or is he not writing letter? This is all about active voice. Passive voice, a letter is written by him. Arrangement or plan, example, he is to visit the place tomorrow. To denote obligation, you are to write your name on the top of your sheet. These are the examples. Was verb, used for past continuous tense. 
he was writing letter he was not writing letter was he writing letter was not she writing letter these are affirmative negative interrogative and interrogative negative construction a letter was written by him passive voice he was to visit the place yesterday an arrangement a plan and obligation he was to write his name over there this is all about is a mark was go now be be is used for formation of sentences as per future continuous tense he will be going there tomorrow passive voice a letter will be written by him being used for passive formation a letter is being written by him a letter was being written by him in addition being is also used as part of a phrase being sincere he went to school yesterday the next one b used for perfect continuous part of any tense he has been writing a letter he had been writing a letter he will have been writing a letter in addition been is also used for passive formation a letter has been written by him a letter had been written by him a letter will have been written by him these aspects are all about verb be hope you are clear by now for today we have covered the topic till here as regards this part have has do does we are going to take up in the next session if you have any doubts or queries you can use the links or comment section i am going to respond definitely if you like the video hit the like button share it subscribe to the channel in addition press the bell icon also for regular updates stay connected stay safe bye bye